the hospitals are not full of COVID patients. The, the hospitals are full of vaccinated patients, OK? I've got friends that work in ICU at Flinders. 30 out of 38 patients currently are vaccinated. That is a fact, OK? The media is, I'm sorry, respectfully to the media, please start telling the truth and please help us help you because you are all targeted. Hello, boys and girls. Episode 45, what the fuck? And there's so many what the fucks every day. Like, fuck, I could do six a day, I reckon, with all the bullshit that um, is <laughs> coming out every day. But this is an old one because I'm scrolling through my Facebook and I'm like, what the fuck? I forgot about this one. And it's a nurse and she's talking about how the hospitals are not being filled up by the unvaccinated. They're not being filled up by people with COVID. No, you guessed it. They're getting filled up with the people that have had adverse side effects from the jab. So that's a big what the fuck. And I totally forgot about it. So imagine how many other what the fucks I've totally forgot. You have not got, what, 500 healthcare workers from South Australia here protesting silently respectfully outside Channel 9 because they've got nothing better to do, okay? We're on the verge of losing our jobs. So we are a, too young to retire. So as a registered nurse, you're yes. facing losing your job? Absolutely. We don't even know where we stand. Apparently from the ABC News last night, 100 South Australian healthcare workers were being stood down. I don't think so. Try 3,000, okay? That's just in Adelaide alone. This is not okay because we want to do what we love doing and that is caring for the South Australian community. We are passionate and we would not be here if we were. If we didn't care, we wouldn't be here. Up until the 14th of November, the next power of emergency gets turned over, probably for another two to four weeks because we know this is ongoing. We know this is planned. We're not stupid. The hospitals are not full of COVID patients. The, the hospitals are full of vaccinated patients, okay? I've got friends that work in ICU at Flinders. 30 out of 38 patients currently are vaccinated. That is a fact, okay? The media is, I'm sorry, respectfully to the media, please start telling the truth and please help us help you because you are all targeted. Every single person is targeted. So as a registered nurse, do you, are you seeing people in hospital, are you treating people? Yes, absolutely. serious adverse effects, serious. And we're talking 20 year olds. We are talking 20 year olds that have dropped dead. Nothing is getting on the media. Myocarditis is a rare, let me tell you, a rare cardiac condition. All of a sudden, every third 20 year old's got myocarditis. You know what that leads to? Cardiac transplant. Where do we get hearts from in Australia with the lowest organ donor rate in the world? So how the fuck are we still getting pushed to take an experimental drug that we're not gonna know the data on for the next five years, 10 years? What the fuck, Melbourne? What the fuck, Victoria? What the fuck, Australia? What the fuck, world?